Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It seems like forever since we uh, had one of these videos. <laughs> um, we got some leaks over the open. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the cards and uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm uh, I'm excited for them. Um, let's start out with the Skellige ones that were revealed. Um, first, we have a uh, Highland Warlord. Um, so he's three strength, five provisions, human warrior, veteran, deploy, increase the damage of your raid cards by one for the rest of the game. So this is a Nickers boost. You can get Nickers. <laughs> Nickers gets bumped up, which is awesome. Um, let's take a look at the raid cards here. Um, I, I brought up the veteran ones. That's my bad. Um, but I mean, like, you're going to play Bran. I think you still... I don't know if you go full-blown Iced. But, I mean, you're still going to run Raiders. These don't actually count as Veterans, which is kind of hilarious. I just realized that. Um, you know, you're still going to have Invaders. Squirtle, I would imagine, if you're playing this deck. Um, but let's check out Raid. Um... I mean, really, you only have Vobjorn, but does this include damage? Oh, increase the damage, I see. So that's, um, uh, that's a whole different ball game. I thought it boosted Nickers. I'm kind of sad now, but, um, okay, so this hits for... This hits for five now, which is huge. Actually, seven, if they have, uh, if you have the bloodthirst. These hit for three, so they take out elves. These hit for six. This is huge. The gutting slash is hitting for five or seven. Are massive. Um, these hit for three now. They kill elves. This hits for three. This hits for six, but you're playing this with, what's it called anyway? Blood Eagle hitting for three. That's really interesting. This, I don't think, does anything because it's not damage, it's bleeding. But, um. I think it's a one of. For sure. I mean. You play this card. I mean, you could play it a couple times, I guess. But, I mean, do you really want to be playing uninteractive that much with Skellige? I don't think so. I love the art. I think it's a, I think it's a good one of in the veteran deck currently. Let's check out the other. The other one seems a little bit bonkers. Um, Magic Compass. Um, so, this is basically bribery for Skellige. So it's an, and it's an echo card. So you can do this twice for eight provisions. It says, uh, look at the top three cards in your deck. Play one, then move one of the other cards to your graveyard. If there are fewer than three cards in your deck, spawn and play a legendary Skellige card that was not in your starting deck instead. So there's going to be a lot of good options here i mean you getting you know you look at some of the legendaries in thing i mean imagine getting a herald off this imagine getting fakusha um another melusine even on a last say like arnegad i mean not bad dire bear ouch if you're a boosty friend and you don't have this originally in your deck um getting another defender can be huge um oh they're only legendaries uh, yeah but that's all i have up another yalmar and kadoosh a second canute can you imagine can you imagine two canutes Holy shit. You want to talk about running into a wood chipper face first. <laughs> like, if you could do this twice somehow, I guess you could with... 
How could you get multiples of these? There's got to be a way. I mean, all the, all these cards are great. I mean, even if you got a Hamdahl for eight provisions, the one that's really going to kick you in the balls is the Canby. If they still have a card in their hand and you kick it, that's going to be just infuriating. Another Coral to fish, or if you brick, you're thinning. Even even a Ulfadin on something big, you don't want to waste the provisions to put it in, but you get it off of this when you want it. This card's crazy auto include, I think. It, I mean, if you're playing the discard package and you're thinning, um, you know what deck this would probably be good in? The the hyper thin uh, the the Witcher deck with like. Uh, Bear Witchers and um, Quen and whatnot. That deck thins really well. You slap this in here instead of maybe you swap it out for maybe Karen Kadoosh. You're in business, I think. I don't know. It seems it seems really good. Let me know what you think. I think it's crazy good. Um, let's check out these dwarfs because uh, dwarfs got some buffs. We go to. Tell. You know what else? When I was looking at veteran, I accidentally clicked on thing and it says veteran for not sure why, but your vet shows up as veteran when you type in veteran. Oh, maybe it was just vet. I'm sorry. I thought that was weird. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I? Did he have a tag I didn't know about? Um, but Skoya tell dwarfs. Um, so the first one up is uh, Giant Slayer. Um, this one gives me like mini Imlarith Sabbath vibes. I don't know why. But having carryover that you can do damage is kind of great. Um, four strength, six provisions. Deploy, choose an enemy unit. If its base power is higher than elves, gain three armor. Barricade at the end of your turn, damage chosen unit by one. Oh, so you have to pick it. But if they play another one, another copy of that, will it attack it again next round? Oh, and you have to get the death blow to gain resilience. So you have to pick a one to get the resilience. So if you, worst case scenario, you pick a three, you hit it, or the best case scenario, you pick a three, hit it three times, and you get four carryover. And then you set it up next to one of the... You play the... Um, the machine, right? Aren't there machines in Scoyatel? Oh, they're legendaries. I see. We want all. So if you play it with this, it can keep hitting. You put it next. Put two of these next to a wagon burn. Wagenberg, and you got a little machine, mini machine gun. Nah, that seems like a huge, that seems like Pikeman point oh five. <laughs> but, I don't know, it seems fun. Uh, I like the card. Um, carryover is always going to be big. Uh, look at, uh, M or look at uh, She Who Knows. Uh, now, the next one, I didn't really get a good look at it. Um, it's an artifact. So it's Prism Pendant Artifact. Whenever you target an allied unit with a special, give it vitality equal to the special's provision cost. Whenever you target an enemy unit with a special, give it bleeding. Okay, so you're putting this down... It's nothing currently. Nothing. 
So you're playing this uninteractive. Matic, you do you do four damage and then you do four bleeding. So it's a Matic friend. Oh boy. Oh boy. I love this card. It's if it's a Matic enhancer, I'm all about it. But like even like looking at just say your Scoyatel specials. It's Um I mean like Orbit you already get to, it's kinda overkill. This so you would get seven, but see like this this extra vitality, this stuff is kinda weird. You want spells, right? Or nature. Let's check out the nature cards. Alright, so and it has to be target. So Rebuke does five damage and five bleeding. Okay. This does eight and eight or six and eight or five and 14. <laughs> I don't know if you want 14 vitality on something. Um, same thing with these. These are four and f or uh, five and four. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to, I think it's going to be really good in, uh, in a Matic deck. I mean, you look at the bombs. You look at the bombs. I mean, you get, you know, Northern Wind, you get a red haze that, you know, you don't fully take out. You hit it for like seven and put four bleeding on it. That's huge. Uh, Dancing Star, if you get the full death blow, you get a couple, well, I guess it's only one, because they have to die. But getting them on the bomb seems huge, with the bleeding. I guess, though, you kind of anti-synergize, but when you miss the row, then it's good, because you're adding that bleeding onto a unit. But if you hit the row, and you kill the bleeding unit, then you kind of wasted it. Crimson Curse? I don't think there's a way to get that. I mean, like, let's just look at spells, because I'm excited for this one. Uh, th uh, Seely mentioned uh, Marigold's Hailstorm. So damage five enemy units by two and give them two bleeding, so it plays for 10, 20 points, possibly. Becker's Rock Slide for 8 with 8 bleeding. So if this is you damage, I guess most of those you end up killing anyways. <laughs> Stamelfords. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of possibilities with this card. Just the Matic Synergy though and being uninteractive with, you know, a Matic deck, I'm all over it. First deck I build for sure. So be ready. Uh, and then let's look at these. The Syndicate cards, I didn't get a chance to really look at either. So it's kind of like a live reaction here. Uh, Shady Vendor. Um, love the art. Art looks fantastic. Um, four for five. Blind Eye. I did, I did call the Blind Eyes would get some love. Profit two. Tribute four. Melee. Create and play a bronze for provision crime. Tri tribute five range. Create a five provision crime. So let's check out syndicate crimes. Let's look at the fours first. Just one crime. Okay. So you got, I guess, ideal... Dip in the pawn tar, so it plays for you get a four body, three damage, that's seven and three coins, which could be, you know, anything. So that's seven, maybe ten. 
Um, bloody good fun. Chance for a little bit of removal on a four. Um, swindle. Get your boat out that no one plays anymore. Um, shake down and smuggle. Assault, but I don't know if you're going to be playing that with salamander so i don't think you get the 10 but i mean even still then it's an it's a five for eight it's still pretty great with removal options and then let's look at the fives <laughs> oh it's no yeah it's bronze okay uh eaves drop you get five coins payday's huge um playing this ranged row i guess you're paying for that card so it's technically not that because you're using the coins in that go. But it goes towards your tribute. So your tributes are shorter. Purge. Damage an enemy unit by three. Uh, stolen mutagen. Pick an enemy unit. Damage it by four. Poison an allied unit and gain five coins. This one's got... I don't know. Any card with options is going to be huge. Um, and it's a spender. I mean, I think it's I think it's fantastic. I think you slap two of them in the deck. They're, I mean, the thing is, though, like, five spot right now, the king is Salamander Mage. Do you put this over Salamander Mage when you know it hits for five and then six? It's an old... Or, yeah, it's... It, it hits for 11 on the board. Is that a switch there that you want to make? I think if you're going more like Witch Hunter Bounty, you go with this one because of the possibilities for bounty and damage. But I, I love it. I think the card's fantastic. Um, and then let's check out this other one here. Um... Conjurer's Candle. I didn't get to watch this one. Uh, the video um, started acting up, unfortunately, on stream. Um, so this one is Conjurer's Candle Artifact. Six provisions. Resilience. Profit five. Okay, so you get five coins. Fee one. Boost an allied unit by one. Increase the boost by this card's fee cost. Whenever you pay this card's fee, increase its card up to nine. So it's coin Sahil. So it's a it's a six provision spender that just scales up by one, but you can't like interact with it. It's a spender that you have to heat wave, and boy does this feel bad heat waving. I don't like this one. I just think it's a bad spender. Like look, you look at you look at some of the fee cards. I mean Horst Belheim Bursodi Horson Cesar uh the disciples and the clerics that have taken over like there's no way this card's i think this card's bad it's just it's i mean granted you can't interact with it but you also don't have points and you're just boosting up something that i mean it lets you spread stuff out but there's other stuff that lets you spread stuff out like i mean yeah you could boost it up all in one turn but like why would you sink all your chips into one thing you, you get tall punished to all hell you know what I mean? There's so many better spenders. Like, you could even be playing Savvy Hucksters better than that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think that one's bad. Alright, I'm waiting for the couple more. Um, the video will cut here shortly. <laughs> 